If you would like to embed a Google form into your Schoology course, there's just a few steps that you need to take. Um, first of all, rather than um, adding a link, uh, a link here, um, you're going to create a page. And it seems like you're adding um, more material, or I guess more steps, but it, it'll be the same. It'll actually be easier at the end. So um, because you can't, when you add a link, you can't embed directly. Um, so this will just make us uh, the embedding process easier. So let's say I was creating um, an exit slip through Google Forms. So I'll just title my page exit slip. Um, and then here you can see we have the option to, if that'll go away, insert content. Um, and then you're gonna select insert image slash media. And it's from the web. So you'll select that option. And it's not an image, it's media. So you'll select media. Then it says link slash embed. So now you know um, that you will be able to embed the file. So if you just go to your Google form, um, when you click send, you can send as an email, um, you can send the link, but what you want to do here is embed the HTML. So you'll select that third option and copy the link. Go back to embed here, paste, insert media, and it'll show just this yellow box with the little box inside of that. Um, and you can always change the dimensions if you want. If you want it to be um, smaller, just make sure you constrain the proportions so it doesn't go all out of whack, but that'll, that'll be fine for this. If you wanted to add a little info, please take the following survey, you know, something like that, you can do that. Um, if there was anything else you wanted to attach, you could, um, but all you do is click Create. And then what this will look like instead of the link, like you would see if you had just um, pasted the link to the Google form, you would just click exit slip and then the exit slip is there. The student can still take what they need to take and they just submit and then they'll be good to go.